Hello, person. Here's what's new with Wraithbinder. This new shader. Really excited about how this shader has transformed the look of this game. I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of the shader here. We'll, we'll get to, I'll get to explaining how the difference is from what it used to be. Let's take a screenshot of this. We'll turn off the pure, we'll turn on pure pureness. So it doesn't do any of this um, dithering and color banding. Uh, that's what the basically the shader is doing. It's, it's color banding things together and then uh, dithering it up so that it looks more 256 color. We're taking a screenshot now of the pure one without all that color banding and dithering. Let's go ahead and compare these two and you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the pure one. Here's the dithered and color banded one. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put the dither on the bottom. This one here. You can see that, okay, so basically, check out what's going on here in the background, like right here. We've got um, this pixel right here. Let's go ahead and get this info window open here. and We can see if exactly if this is the same pixel. Okay, it's not quite. See what I mean? This is a 78, uh, the red is 78, green's 106, blue is 112, up there in the top left. And the blue is going from 111, 112, 113. So there's something I'm doing here, I'm still messing up. But I had, for, for a while I had this so that it would, all of this blue color would be the same exact blue. And all this purple color would be the exact same purple. And you can see they're pretty close. Um, so what that helps to do is, is it helps me record GIFs. So I can actually turn on, let's do that really quick. Um, while I'm in the game, um, I can turn on, I can just press a key and it starts screen recording. This is the, oh, we have got to turn the pureness off. Go back to this shader, this helps a lot. So basically we can, we can export a bunch of pings, do a little screen recording, and then compile it into a GIF, and then the GIF, like, is really nice. Basically with this, this whole dithering going on, and, um, and color banding especially. So there I turned off screen cap. Let's go open up my screen cap folder and we can look at, where's that? Wraithbinder assets, screen cap. Here we go, is this today? No, oh, we got some old files in here, but here we go, today, 8, 8 p.m. All right, so let's, let's make it big so you can see. What the heck, what the heck? Why isn't it big? It's weird. Oh, maybe I just have to do this. There we go. <laughs> it's still small. Ah, well. You get the point, right? It's recording, it's it's screen capping at 30 frames per second, some pings. And then all I gotta do is convert it using, you know, a command line utility. Boom, throw them all into one GIF. And then I can edit the GIF, crop it, things like that. So I get these pure, really nice GIFs now I can record. And, and look at this. Just like, let's look at one frame here. Is this nearest neighbor interpolation? No, it does actually look like it's scaling it up quite kind of nicely. It's not blurring it out. Uh, but anyways, we, it's easier to see when we're in, in Photoshop. So you see that, you know, that's what the background looks like with the, the shader. And here's what it used to look like without the shader. So with and without. There's still some work I can do as as I'm no, as I'm looking at this. Like I notice that there is a little bit more depth to the scene here, especially like up here on the tops of these uh, walls. In this scene, there's a little there, in the in the pure scene. There's a little bit more depth to that. It looks pretty nice. Hell, I might even make this sort of an option. Like you build build to turn off this uh, 256 color mode. Um, but the whole point is to simplify the colors and make it easier on the eye. So I do think that this this 256 color one is more e is easier on the eye. Here in the background, it starts uh, desaturating things and simplifying the colors so that the and and it, what it does is it blends the pureness too. So here in this pure totally pure version, what's here in the center of the screen um, is. Of course it's all pure because this entire image is pure, but if we turn off the pure one, you can see that even here in the middle of the screen, it's it's still really pure. So it actually blends the pureness as it goes outward. 
So at the very edge of the screen, it's fully using the 256 color shader, and at the middle of the screen, it's not using it at all. So we get this this nice blend between pure and old school. So we get better GIFs, easier on the eye, and with some tweaking, I'll be able to make it so it looks just as color, just as much color depth as before. And maybe I'll make an option so players can even turn it off if they pure, if they prefer this pure looking mode. Uh, and then what's really cool about this is I've got a whole bunch more hooks inside the game, or inside the shader, sorry. So when in the game, let's go, oh, let's turn off, uh, I got limit players on here. So we're going to turn off limit players. We've got some other bots to play with and we can die or, yeah, that's the point here. I want to die. So you can see what happens when you turn into a, a wraith. It's really kind of janky right now. I really need to play with these settings. But the point here is that we can change the shader values so dramatically uh, that it it's, it creates a really cool effect. So when you're when you're a wraith, you really know you're a wraith. So I'm gonna go ahead and hurt myself a bunch here. And let this guy kill me. There we go. So this could be a lot better. It's really not showing enough color at this point, and it's doing way too much of the dithering shader and all that. But you can see that we can do some really cool stuff to the entire screen now. Um, and while it, and I had this for, for a while, this was all green and it's sort of Game Boy-ish. Uh, I think it turned red because that's my team color or something like that. But anyways, it looks pretty cool with green. Maybe I'll just go back to totally with green. But you can imagine this is going to be something pretty cool once I get the colors just right. So you can still, like I said, you still should be able to see enough color that you're, you're not at a disadvantage as a player when you're a wraith like this. So with some with some playing with this technique, and of course you can't see who's on on what team, right? It's everybody looks like they're white colored instead of greens and reds to show the different teams. Um, and there's maybe a, a bit there's like way too much dithering going on here, but you can imagine this is eventually going to be something cool. Where when you're a wraith, it's got this sweet old Game Boy Game Boyish 256 color dithered effect going on. These you really know you're a wraith, right? I can tell. Can you tell? So, um, that's all for this video. Lots of shader work, and this is uh, all working towards the goal of really increasing the game's aesthetic factor. You know, like making the game just more more visually... Oh, gosh, what, what the heck did I just do? <laughs> making the game more visually pleasing. More artistic, more aesthetic. So... Thanks for watching this video, and we'll come at you with another one. Make it Wraith Binder next time. See ya.